Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. We're on the countdown to Christmas now. So the first thing I'm going to do this morning is go ahead and pick out my outfit. And I kind of feel like doing a really crazy, unique makeup look today. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. So guys, here's my outfit for today. I'm not quite sure if these two colors match, but it's what we're going with today. So the back of the shirt, I just really like it. This is one of my favorite shirts that I have. And these are just some brown kind of gray leggings and they're really comfortable. So let's go ahead and do a really weird, crazy makeup look today. Okay guys, so I'm about my makeup and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is spray myself down with some of this Valentino Coral Fantasy fragrance. And I really wanna do a unique look today. So I grabbed some products from my collection that I normally don't use. So I got a black gel eyeliner. And if this one doesn't work the way I want it to, I got a black liquid eyeliner. And then I got a black lipstick. So what I was thinking is I wanna do a really heavy, bold wing. And I might go grab some really dramatic false lashes so I can put some false lashes on today. And I wanna do a bold lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera just because it's really hard to do in the viewfinder and I don't wanna mess it up. So I'll be back when I get one side done so we can see how it looks. Okay, so here's how the bare bones look. This eyeliner is pretty dried out, so I was just able to kind of do a stencil with it. I'm going to take this Bite Beauty liquid liner in traces and do some work on the lower lash line with it. Now I'm going to use this Lord & Berry black eyeliner and do the lower lash line and a little bit on the inner corner. Okay, so here's my eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and put on a couple coats of mascara and then see if I want to do really dramatic lashes today. Okay guys, so here's the look with some mascara and I think I really want some bold lashes. So I'm gonna go get my lash stuff and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I picked out this set from J Lash. This is one of the most dramatic pairs I own. This is in the style Obsessed and I have no idea where I got these. They probably came in a subscription box. I got some mini scissors so I could cut them to fit. And then I got an eyelash glue pen just so I could draw it on and stick the lashes right to my eye. So again, I'm going to go off camera, measure these, put them on my eye, just because it's really hard to do in the viewfinder. Well, guys, um, I was better off without the eyelashes. I think these ones are way, way too big for my eyes. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and take these off. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. And this is in the shade Death to Unicorns. Okay, so here's our look today, minus those crazy lashes. I really wanted to wear lashes today, but those, those just didn't work out. I will say that I really liked this Bite Beauty liquid liner when I first tried it, but when I tried to do a big wing with it today, it was kind of hard to work with and a little bit patchy. I really need to get that Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Liner. That's my favorite one. This one's from Juvia's Place and it's really dried out, so I just use it for stenciling today. But everything else worked really good and I'm really happy with the look today. Hey guys, I just woke up from a nap. So um, I'm in my bathroom right now and I think I just caught something because I'm just not feeling great. So I'm going to search through my medicine chemist and try to find something that I can take to help me feel better. My throat's kind of swollen. I think I have some drainage back there. And I just feel like an overall tiredness. Like I just can go to sleep and not wake up till tomorrow. That kind of thing. That's how I'm feeling. So I decided on some brown fed and some hauls. And I might make some tea later because I got some throat coat tea. So I might do that and gargle with some salt water. That's what I'm thinking right now anyway. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. Me and my husband are really big into crafting. And we do all sorts of crafting. And this is where we keep all of our crafting supplies. When we finally get to move into a new house, we're gonna have our own crafting room. So as you can see, we have a bunch of yarn and I love to do knitting. My husband loves to do crocheting and I'm really big into sewing, cross-stitching, quilting, all that kind of stuff. So I keep every single thing that I can find all in here. So as you can see, I have a little pattern right there, some extra yarn, some fabric, all the little Karen cakes, everything is stocked in here. So if we ever need anything, we just come in this cabinet and grab it. So guys, since I don't really feel so great, we're just gonna take it easy and kind of have a really chill day today. And I am really excited because my BoxyCharm add-ons came in the mail yesterday and I wasn't able to unbox them on camera because my video was so long. But I did open up the box just to make sure everything was there and nothing was broken. Just because I've been having some really, really bad luck with BoxyCharm lately, I just wanna check it, but everything's okay and I'm ready to open it up and show you guys what I got. 
So when I got this on my porch, I was kind of confused because I never received my add-ons in a box like this before. Usually they just come in a standard brown box. But this month they sent it in a BoxyCharm premium box. So it's kind of cool. You get like a second BoxyCharm. So in this box, I have three items from the December add-on shop. And I don't know if it was a normal add-on or some kind of mega drop shop or something. But I do know why I have three items. And my original total was somewhere around $19. But I did receive a $6 off coupon. So I only spent $13 on everything I'm about to show you guys today. So the first thing I got is from NARS and this is their Power Matte Lip Pigment and this is in the shade Done It Again. And I'm kind of kicking myself because this is a shade I should have worn today. I really wanted to wear this and I just didn't even think about it. But this is kind of a deep brown chocolate color. So let me give it a good shake and then we'll go ahead and swatch it. I'm going to swatch on my right hand so the swatch might be a little ugly but that way we could swatch some eyeshadows on the other hand. So here's the color of the lipstick. See how it's very warm toned and it's very, very liquidy. But the consistency of this lipstick is very, very thin. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off with my rag. But once it sets down in place, it's not going to budge. So I've always wanted one of these Power Matte Lip Pigments and I've never had one before. So I'm very excited to play around with this. And when I'm in the mood for a bold lip color again, this is the one I'm going to go into. So we have that from NARS. Now the second thing I got is from Ace Beauty and this is called the Nostalgia Palette. I love picking up palettes from the BoxyCharm add-on shop. You can get some really sweet deals in there. So here's the palette cover. It looks just like the exterior box. And then here's the actual palette. It looks really, really pretty. You have a mix of mattes and shimmers in here and it's definitely more matte heavy. So if you're like me and you love your mattes, this is definitely right up your alley. And then up top you get a very nice large decorated mirror too. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these shades. We're going to do some mattes and we're going to do some of the shimmers. So let's do this neutral tone right there. And I know Ace Beauty recently redid their formula. So I'm not sure if this is one of their old palette formulas where they're just trying to get rid of it. Or I don't know if they are sending out their newer release formula. I know when I reviewed one of their old formulas, I didn't have very good luck with it. So hopefully this is their new stuff and it's swatching really nicely so far. So here's some of the matte swatch from the palette. Look at how beautiful and vibrant those are. Very impressed with those. So let's check out some of these shimmer shadows. And this is one of those palettes where if you care about the information about a palette, you're gonna wanna keep the box because there is literally nothing written on the back of the palette. Everything's on the box itself. And this palette also contains pressed pigments, so if you're sensitive, you might want to be made aware of that. So there's only three shimmers in this palette, and they feel very gritty. They're not quite dry. I wouldn't describe them as dry, but I was very easily able to grip them with my finger. I think these would pick up very well with a brush. And I know it's hard to depict a shadow on camera, but these have a very nice foiled effect to them. So I'm very interested in trying this out. It's a beautiful rainbow-esque palette. And I think this palette was only like 5 or $6, so you definitely can't beat this for 5 or $6 for sure. And the last thing I got in my box, which was heavily wedged in the bottom, by the way, so I'm surprised it didn't come broken, is from Seattle London. And it's another palette called I Am A Woman, What's Your Superpower? Now, when I first saw people unboxing this palette when it originally launched in the box, I, I can't even tell you how little I cared about it. I was just not interested in it whatsoever. But... Now I was able to get it for about $5 and I figured it would be fun to kind of do a review and tutorial on it. And now that I have it in my hands, it is way more substantial than I can ever begin to convey to you through camera. So the actual quality of this feels really, really nice and it's beyond what I even expected. So this is a larger palette. You're going to get 24 different eyeshadows in here and there are no pressed pigments in this palette. And like the other one, this has the bare minimum info on the back of the palette. So if you want more, you're going to want to keep the separate box. And here's what this color story looks like. So we went from rainbow S to very, very neutral. But that's kind of my thing. I love both. I can't really choose if I like rainbow or neutral more. They're just both what I like, you know. So although this being neutral in tone, we're getting a bit of a rosy aspect through this. So some of these shimmers in here look really stand out to me, especially this one right here and this one. So when I swatch, we're definitely going to do these two. Even this one right here looks really, really pretty. Each shade in here is named after a notable woman in history. 
So here's some unique mattes that interested me. They swatch really well. They're very smooth and even, and I just appreciate how this looks on my hand already. And I did go ahead and swatch one of the light shades, and this is the deepest shade in the palette, so we do have some good contrasting colors in here. So now I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these shimmers. So here's some of the shimmer swatch, and unlike the other Ace Beauty palette, these are more of a wet cream-like formula. These were super easy to pick up on my finger as well, but I feel like this is going to give me a harder time on a brush. They definitely have that more dimethicone base that I can just feel with my fingertip, you know? This shade right here almost feels like it's a pressed glitter, whereas all these other shades felt really, really smooth. But you can see that foil-like effect as I kind of twist my arm here. And I can most definitely tell you, just by playing with this palette for a few minutes, that this shimmer formula has some loose mica particles in it. So you're going to want to do your eyes before your base while you're using this, or you're going to get a mess all over your face. So again, this is from Cialte London, and it's called the I Am Woman palette. And uh, yeah, I like it. I'm very interested to get this onto my eyes. So yeah, guys, these three pieces are what I ended up picking up from the December Bachi Charm add-on sale. Let me know if you have any of these things in your collection and what you feel about them. Like I said, I only dipped into them each for about a few minutes, so I really don't know what I feel about them, but I'm very excited to get to use them long term. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make some tea for my throat. And this is my little tea box, and I have all sorts of tea in here. But this is my one I was thinking about, this throat coat one. It's got lemon and echinacea in it. So it's good for your throat and your immune system. So I have a bunch of those right there. Then I got some chai, some kava tea. That's my green tea. This one's really good. Glazed lemon loaf. That's a good one. Then what's this one? This one's backwards. Peppermint tea. Yeah, that's a good one too. Then we have this one randomly. Green tea, okay. And then we have this orange one, which is, mmm, positive energy. We probably need some of that too. So let's just get one of these throat coat teas and let's go ahead and make this. So I'm just uh, steeping this tea and then I'm going to put some honey in it since I don't use sugar, but... Actually, I have that sugar substitute I might use. I'm not really a tea drinker, guys. I just keep it on hand in case I need it, but I like coffee way better. So I'm going to have to try to get this down, and uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, guys, we're back in my little filming space, and I have Smokey with me. She just got finished eating, so she's ready to come sit with me while we do this. Now, I really like to film in the living room, but I needed to come somewhere private because what we're going to be talking about today is not really something I enjoy talking about. But I kind of just wanted to talk about a few more personal things since we're kind of nearing the end of Vlogmas. So, I just really haven't been digging deep down into the more personal vibes this whole Vlogmas. So, I figured now is the time. So I figured we can do a couple different story times and the story time that I'm going to talk about today is the story of my most toxic best friend that I've ever had in my life. I've never been a person to have a lot of friends. I still don't and I never really did. I personally don't need a lot of friends. I think it gets to be very dramatic if you have an overabundance of people in your life. So I just keep all my people very, very small. And what I'm about to tell you today is by far the worst friend experience I have ever had in my life. This is a story filled with toxicity, abuse, and manipulation. So this story takes place back in 2018, which is what, about five years ago now? And the way that I had met her is because she lives very close to me. And she used to frequently call and text my husband because she needed his help with things. She was currently going through a separation with her husband and I think she was really lonely. And she just contacted my husband for every little thing. If she had a stray cat in her yard, she would call him to go capture the cat, things like that. So over time, I slowly got introduced to her and we just started talking. Everything at that time was very normal or so it seemed. I've always been a really independent person and I never in my life thought somebody would ever get into my head. But over the course of a few months to a year, that's exactly what happened. So I'm sure you know by now, but I have two kids. So whenever my husband was sick or if he was out farming, if she wanted to hang out with me, I had to bring both of my kids to her house because they were too young to be left here alone. And when that happened, every single time that I brought my kids near her, she got so mad about it and she acted like they were complete nuisance. And what makes that whole thing crazy is that she had a kid of her own. Although he was 17 at the time, it still really, really upset me. So I'd say everything was semi-okay just about a year into our friendship. A year is when things started really, really changing. 
At that point, she demanded that I come to her house every single day. She would come over to my house in her car, pick me up at seven o'clock in the morning. We would go get coffee, go back to her house, and I would stay there until two o'clock in the afternoon. And for the majority of the day, what we would do is watch TV shows. Like I said, she was really going through that bad separation and her marriage was just awful. So in my head, I thought like I was helping her not be so lonely. And when I finally got home at two o'clock PM, I was just relieved. And I'm a huge introvert, so I need time by myself to decompress. But I also never got that. When I was at home and not at her house, she demanded that I be on the phone with her either on a live phone call or that I was texting her for the rest of the day. So another crazy thing is when I was at her house when we weren't watching TV, I would have to do chores. I would have to do a lot of cleaning. I would have to do the laundry. I would have to run outside and go get the mail. I would have to take out the trash all the way down her driveway. We would have to go to the grocery store and I told you the grocery store is very far away from me. Pick up the groceries, come home, and I would have to unload them and organize and put them away. And the worst thing was cleaning up her messes after her dog. I never caught a break and I was spending all of my free time at her house working on her stuff and in the meantime my house and my personal life was completely falling apart. I think the worst part of everything was all the manipulation and the mental gymnastics that she put me through. She would consistently tell me that my kids and my husband didn't love me anymore and that I needed to do better. Every single day she would work just a little bit more to pry deep into my marriage and break it apart. Please bear in mind that she did this over the course of years, just a little bit at a time, so it was just unrecognizable. It got to the point where I would spend literally all of my time with her, barely come home, and she even wanted to create a new room in her house for when I moved in. So somewhere around this time, I just finally snapped and my husband and I finally sat down and ha had a heartfelt talk about what was going on. And just like a light switch, I immediately stopped all contact with her on every single level. So it really takes a lot of work to repair all the damage that was done, but I'll tell you that is not impossible. And it also taught me a very valuable lesson that things like this can happen to anybody. If you're a person that thinks something like this can never happen to you, trust me, it really can. And unfortunately, this person still lives very, very close to me, so I still see her in passing awkwardly, but things are a lot better now. And as I told you earlier, she was once married and going through the separation, and during that time, her husband did commit a murder-suicide during our friendship. So to be positive, I always try to tell myself that I was put in this place on purpose to try to save another person, and I just guess I'll never know. So guys, that's the basic synopsis of my worst friendship experience in the entire world. I would never want to live anything like that again. I would never wish anything like this to happen to my worst enemy. And if you are going through or have been through something similar, I completely feel for you. And I'm not coming on here to do these story times to gain any sympathy points because that's not the kind of person I am. And I'm just saying these things to open your eyes and spread the message that these things can truly happen to anybody. People that are expert manipulators will come in your life and completely destroy it and you'll never know what hits you until after all the damage is done. So I will catch you when I start making dinner tonight. Okay guys, so here's my dinner. I have some fried rice, a bosque pear, some cashews and almonds, my walnuts, my supplements, and a chocolate candy bar. And of course my water. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end Vlogmas day 20 here. My lipstick came off, so don't mind that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner and get ready for Vlogmas day 21 tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed this video and had a great day. I hope I get to feeling better tomorrow. And if you like this video, please give me a giant thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, just hit that thumbs down button. And until next time, bye.